Hey, it's Dennis and Kulika here. And there's Cassie. There's the pup. <laughs> and we're heading on another road trip. This time we're heading north to Prince Albert National Park. At Prince Albert National Park, it's about two and a half hours north of Saskatoon. So this trip is going to be five hours just driving. <laughs> two and a half there and then two and a half back later. But it's well worth it. So here we are. We're pulling into Prince Albert National Park. We're really excited. We're going to look for some hiking trails and have some fun. Also, it's Canada's 150th birthday this year. It's a free pass to all the national parks. So I ordered mine online and there it is. So it's our ticket into any national park in Canada. So we'll see you inside there. That was elk. Our first wildlife encounter. <laughs> Cassie's park. It's a nice drive once you get in this park. So beautiful and scenic. The lake is to the right there. You can kind of see it through the trees. Waska Sioux Lake. So we're going to head down to the Spruce River and do a little hike there. We've never been hiking in that area before, so we thought we'll try that one out. Now you can see the lake a little better on the side there. <laughs> it's a nice warm day too. It's pretty calm there. The lake looks nice and still. There's no big waves like at the lake we were the other day. <laughs> Here's the Spruce River. That's a nice little gentle river. Very nice. And there'll be a trailhead up here. And we're going to do that hike. And this looks like the trailhead here. And that's it. Freight Tate Springs Trail. <laughs> Try to say that real fast. <laughs> yeah. So it's about a two kilometer hike one way. So four kilometers there and back, two and a half miles. So we're gonna check this one out. And there's no one here. And since we're in bear country, they advise you to have bear spray on these trails. So there's Kulika's canister. So you pull that little orange pin, you point it in the direction of the bear, there she is, no. <laughs> and you spray it in the bear's face. It's very effective. Also we have horns too. I'll show you the horn. There's my little air horn, and Kulika has one also. I have mine handy. Yours is in your pocket. Oh no, you had it there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's Kulikas. And I have my bear spray on my hip here. I'll show you. There's my bear spray. It's in a holster. <laughs> Hopefully we never have to use that. If we have to use it, it means the bear is right in front of us. About 20 feet or 5 meters. So that'd be kind of scary, but it's better than having nothing. <laughs> We both have a can each. Probably the pup would run away if she sees a bear. So, <laughs> would be wise though, because a bear would handle her no problem. But they're scared of us too. They don't want to meet us. As long as they hear us coming. So we'll be talking and making some noise. And What do you say, Kula, come we're walking on these trails? Hey, bear. Yeah. <laughs> She's not calling the bear, but she wants to alert the bear that there's people around. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> they don't like us. If we see any young or anything, like little cubs, <laughs> we'll back out of the area real quick. But not run or anything. So here we go. Prince Albert National Park. We're going to enjoy it. Cassie's way ahead there running. She's got her bear bell on <laughs> to make some noise. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> She's trotting nicely there. Ring that bell, Cassie. <laughs> Ring it. There you go. 
there's no one really here. I think we own the trail <laughs> with all the animals or and the flies. <laughs> it's very green here. Nice and lush. <laughs> Cassie's getting some good exercise. Ringing that bell. <laughs> Yeah, when we get to the destination on this trail, there should be some spring there, a natural spring. You could even drink that water. So we can't wait to see that. Cassie's a two-year-old German Shepherd. Her birthday was March 8th. She was born in 2015, so she's just over two. And these dogs have lots of energy. If anybody owns a German Shepherd knows what I'm talking about. If you don't give them the right exercise, they'll drive you nuts, you know. <laughs> when we head home later, two and a half hour drive, she'll be sleeping the whole time. <laughs> so she might as well have her fun now. So we're still heading on the trail. And we've never been on this trail before. So we don't know what's ahead. <laughs> Anyways, I got my horn here. I'm going to do a little test. Okay, get ready. <laughs> oh, I heard some noise over there. Something got scared. <laughs> to the right. Some birds. There were some birds in the water or something. After I rang that, I heard a bunch of squawking and flopping. They were getting out of there. <laughs> hey, Dad. But it's made to alert, to alert anything, too. So it's a handy little horn. <laughs> yeah, when we were in Crow's Nest Pass last year, we were doing some hiking there. And I rang the horn and farther ahead on the trail, some guy said, uh, did you hear that horn ring? Yeah, I rang it. Oh, did you? Was there a bear or something? I said, no, I was just ringing to the test. Said, oh, I'm so relieved, he said. <laughs> he was glad that it was just a test. <laughs> but anyways, it's good to make noise on the trails. Just alert any wildlife ahead that you're coming, and they'll usually, they'll take off. Here's where the springs are. And they said it's rich in iron content. <laughs> you can see it here. Look at the color. Very rich in iron. <laughs> yeah. Marsh marigold. Yeah, marsh marigold. Marsh marigolds all along. Yeah, they say this spills over and then goes into the Spruce River. <laughs> Lots of iron in that water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. There's another angle. There's the pup in the iron rich water. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, you can see it. It's flowing down there to the river. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a pop. <laughs> oh, Kulok is loaded with it. Oh, Kulok got it good. The pop shook right on her. Check that out. Oh well, that's the hazards of hiking. You're full of bugs. <laughs> a lot of bugs on this trail. So we walked two kilometers to see that springs and we got eaten up pretty good. <laughs> and the pup had a little drink there in the iron rich spring. So we're gonna head back to the car and we're gonna do another trail. So we got back to the trailhead here again. We have to walk pretty brisk with all those mosquitoes and flies <laughs> chasing us. Cassie's gotta go back on the leash. A lot of bugs. Wow. So there it is. We've never been on that trail before, so we didn't know how it was. It's all right if you want to do an exercise walk, but there's a lot more nicer trails than that here. <laughs> so we'll head to another one. We're heading to another trail. We're gonna go to the Tree Beard Trail. We were here last fall. We really enjoyed that one. So we're gonna do that one again. Nice road here in the forest. Nice and inviting. <laughs> There's a lake somewhere on the right, can't see right now yet. 
I'll show you a little view of that when we can see it. There's a view of the lake now. We're heading to that hiking trail, but you can see the lake here. Beautiful. That's Waska Sioux Lake. Nice shoreline. Here it is, Treebeard. <laughs> We're gonna pull in here and do some hiking. So we really enjoyed that hike there, the Treebeard Trail. It's really nice. We did a full video there though. You'll have to wait for that video to be released after this one. It'll be right after this video. Now we're going to head to the Waska Sioux River and do a little hike there. And then we're going to have our picnic. <laughs> so we'll see you there. There's the sign. Waska Sioux River. So we're at the Waska Sioux River here. We're going to go have a picnic there actually first. Then we'll do the little short hike. It's about two and a half kilometers. So it's not too big and it's not very strenuous so we'll go for a nice leisurely walk after the picnic look at the river there there's some rapids <laughs> later on we'll go across this little bridge and we'll hike around the hiking trails on the other side and then loops back to this side so we're gonna have our picnic right here we moved one of the tables from over there put it here closer to the river and in the sun we're gonna go down here and wash our hands first and then have the picnic so Kulik is getting Cassie's picnic supper ready there's her plate there and there's our plates I'll show you what we have in a minute but isn't this a nice beautiful area to have a picnic look at that Gorgeous here. So here's our picnic supper. We have an egg salad sandwich and that same salad that Kulika made last time at the cookout at the lake, it's the same one she made another one. Made with wild rice, peas, corn, sweet onion, and she mixed it all with mayonnaise. Very tasty. Oh well, yeah, and I almost forgot. We've got some nice hot coffee to wash it all down with. done with that picnic. It was sure good, eh Kulika? So it was. <laughs> now we're going to do a little bit of hike here at the Waska Sioux River. We're not going to do the full hike. Next time we'll do it because it's getting late now. Sun's going to be going down pretty soon. <laughs> so that's the name of it, Waska Sioux River Nature Trail. Next time we'll come back and we'll just do a video dedicated to this hike at the Waska Sioux River. Nice little boardwalk here. We were across the river there having a picnic. I'll zoom in. We were at that bench on the left. <laughs> the cars parked way over there in the parking lot. There's some ducks in the river there. Cassie went to take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie's viewing. Let's go, Cassie. Cassie's back on the trail for now. <laughs> she was checking those ducks out. This is a beautiful hike here, too. Wish we had more time, but we don't. <laughs> We're two and a half hours from Saskatoon. We got to get back there tonight. Sun sets in about an hour, but I like to get on the highway quite a good distance before that sun sets. Hey, Bear! Yeah, we're in bear country, so you always got to be aware. 
This is their habitat, <laughs> not ours. Nice little bench here for viewing. <laughs> duck ball prints. <laughs> <laughs> they got some duck prints here. <laughs> <laughs> Muddy duck prints. Yeah, there's the bench. Very nice. And there's the river. Look at that nice river view. Isn't that nice? Really nice. Let's continue for a ways yet. Look at that. It winds right around and goes over there to the other side. We'll check that out and then we'll turn around. We're not going to do the whole hike. Like I said, next time. Take a look at the river. That's the Waska Sioux River. There's the river from this angle. That's where we came from. Beautiful evening. Really nice. There's where the trail is now. This would wrap around and get back to the picnic area. But we're gonna stop here and turn around. We'll come back to this beautiful place and we'll do the full hike in another video. Cause it's really beautiful here in Prince Albert National Park. So we'll be back here to the Waska Sioux River. So we're heading back on this boardwalk, back to the picnic area. Really had a nice time today. Hope you enjoyed watching this video because we had a lot of fun. So that's it for the video here today at Prince Albert National Park. We hope you enjoyed watching it. And there's a lot of mosquitoes out right now. <laughs> They're nibbling on us as I'm doing the outro here. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And click that notification bell so you get notified of our new videos. And also look for that tree beard video. That'll be after this one. It's just about that hike. <laughs>